Hi everyone, uh, this is going to be just a quick uh, demonstration test here. Uh, it's not going to be part of the tutorials, it's just to show an interesting uh, effect. And uh, basically the circuit is as it was uh, last time I had done the last tutorial, which be, would be tutorial number 5, showing the uh, collecting, uh, the method of using the coil to uh, collect the energy. Uh, the coil uh, right now is in resonance and on the 10 ohm load we have 0.97 volts with no measurable or detectable visual uh, amperage going through the bulb and uh, that's I believe is the 220 picofarad capacitor there in series and um, uh, I can show you as well this is something that we I haven't done um, quickly I'll show you this if we just bypass the bulb, which is actually a 12 ohm resistor, so it's reducing the amount of full potential of what the output could be. So the maximum that could be going in here is 10 volts RMS from the uh, signal generator. All right, and now with it going directly to the capacitor there without going through the 12 ohm resistor, uh, we really have uh, one volt point I guess 11. All right, so that's the true uh, amount of voltage that can go uh, against that uh, 10 ohm resistor. Now, um, you know, I'm not making any claims about this circuit in particular. Uh, definitely, I'm not making claims of over, over unity. It's not over unity at this time, and uh, that's not what all this was about. This is just to show you how to, uh, if you're interested, how to find. Uh, the ways to bringing your coil to resonance. Now what I'd like to show in this video is here's an interesting uh, thing that I found. I'll put this back here at the bulb and uh, so we're back there to our voltage against the load is if you see here my lead from the signal generator is basically going this lead here which is the white wire on the coil and is coming back through the other white wire. So here you have a circuit, all right? And uh, I found this, you know, some days ago just by playing around with it and just testing to see what would happen. And as you've noticed, I've put some leads on these wires. And I thought, you know, what what would happen if I would unplug this wire here and send the input of my signal generator, I'll plug that in there, in the other wire. So this wire is not attached, which is the one that's attached to the return here to my signal generator. So let's say this is the ground. It's attached to the white side of this double wire coil, right? And it's unattached here, right? Nothing. So there's not a completed circuit. And then this side of the signal generator is also unattached to anything. So none of them are attached together. Do we still have power? And the interesting thing is yes. And now that's a little lower, but I actually can tune that and I can make it go higher. So let's see here if I can fine tune that. Okay, so we're about there. So at 0.937, compared to basically 0.98, which is very surprising because, I mean, you know, that's a 10 ohm load and we have no completed circuit here. And yet, you know, we're getting some, a good amount of power we can still extract without a completed circuit. So I thought that would be, you know, worthwhile sharing and uh, seeing that in real life is is quite interesting anyways thanks for watching oh yeah I'd like to add that the uh, my next steps that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking apart this coil here which is basically off the shelf the way it was wounded and winded and uh, what I'll be doing is trying to see if uh, coil geometry has any effects on helping to you know get a better effect as well out of the coil.
So I'll be winding this in a pancake coil and in a single layer coil, multi layers. I'll be trying different con configurations and seeing from using the same results here, same length of wire, if coil geometry has uh, importance in play when we're using resonance. And uh, so obviously we know what the results are using this coil the way it is. And uh, I'll be using the same pickup coil on a different kind of geometry and seeing if there's any uh, benefits. So that'll be the next steps. Thanks for watching.